Hey guys, so today we're going to be starting another doll room update. So this is where we left off. Rainbow High is almost done and it's looking amazing. Uh, the dollhouse has got set up a little bit. OMG's basically done. I set up more of those off camera. Bratz, basically done. We've still got this, which is either going to be Ever After High or Mycene. I haven't decided. And then I'm kind of leaning towards Mycene, but I don't think the Mycene display will fit. And I do have an Ever After High display now. I've been teasing you about it. So they could go there. But I don't know, because it could just be Monster High and Bratz Overflow. But I really want to start consolidating with Monster High and Bratz in terms of, like, the space they take up. So I don't know. That's kind of... And Monster High, as you can see, has a ton of real estate. And and that, which I'm not really utilizing well. And then we got to deal with this situation, because I've been kind of stacking stuff there. And then, Winx Wall. So I'm not going to mess with the Winx Wall at all. But as you can see, I've been stacking stuff up here. This is where I've been putting some Winx new inbox stuff, but mostly things that I still need to review or just I'm keeping in box. For some reason, I've been putting them up here. And... If you've been paying attention, my American Girl dolls haven't been on display in a while. And I did do a doll room update where I showed them. They're all in a closet in my living room. And I thought that that would be good, but it just makes it where I never think about them. And it's an expensive, nice collection of dolls that I really, really like. So I don't want them like that. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm just going to have them all lined up up here. You know? I think that'll be good. So that's that's just a theory right now. I'm not sure if I'll do it. And then... I need to go back and watch my doll room update from when I did this, because why didn't I put one here? Look how that's drooping. I put them everywhere else, and everything else is perfect. Why did I skip this one? <laughs> and, like, look how bad it's drooping. Isn't that weird? Why did I do that? So we need to find the extra little bracket things, because that's unacceptable. Maybe I didn't have enough? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we are. So potentially, I do want to move my scene regardless. Let's move over there. This isn't staying here, by the way. It's just there. Um, this is my filming spot. This is the last video I filmed. Anyway, so... My scene is here, which is fine. And that's kind of why I have Barbie moving this way. Which I thought, like, Fashion Fever would transition well into Barbie. But I want Disney to have these two units fully. These two units. Because these guys would make more sense all together like that instead of rounding the corner like this. And then Holiday Barbie wouldn't be so random here. So that's kind of why I want to move my scene. That's why I'm pretty confident my scene's the doll line that's going to get moved over to where Bratz is. But at the same time, I could put two different doll lines over there if I consolidate enough. We'll have to see. I don't have a lot of risers is the thing. I need to order more, but it's kind of a investment to get more and I never know how many I'm going to need. I do have quite a few right now. Like you can see, I'm in Monster High. Oh, I was kind of trying to plan out Monster High because as you can see, they're all laying down a mess. I don't want to leave them like this for long. But so that's going to be one of the big things in this video is trying to iron out Monster High. So this top shelf, of course, will be the signatures, like first releases of each character. And I really love this because I'll be able to have three rungs so it can be like that and then what I do when I have extra space in this sort of display is I do like 2.0 picture day those types of dolls because they're also just kind of casual looks so yeah but it was kind of sudden when I moved everyone so everyone's all over the place so we're gonna have to really work through and organize these first so I need to clear my bed it's actually clear right now but gotta get all the pillows and stuff off of it so we can lay out all the monster high dolls on there probably but yeah so that's the intro I'm just we're, we're getting there. I just really, really love, if we scoot back again, how this is, I mean, obviously here, like, this is so, so, so nice. And I love that the white shelf versus the black shelf aren't bothering me when they're right up against each other like this, like I thought they would. So that's really convenient. <laughs> and yeah, everything, everything's coming together. I'm very happy with it. I do need an OMG display, but I need a big one like that, because I do have an OMG display, but it is not big enough to warrant the amount of space up there and it makes it look very blank up there because we're about to have a bunch of big nice displays up here but again I don't have the Mycene display is huge 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 so it's not gonna fit and that's a problem because I really want that on display because it's one of my prized possessions and having that right next to the Bratz display would be like super cool I don't know because I could I don't I have not that many Bratz dolls or oh my god I don't have that many Mycene dolls truly so they would fit here but I also don't want like what's gonna go here I don't know I don't know. I mean, it would be kind of like this, actually. The way they're kind of curved. It would probably be something like that. Um, but I like my scene and Bratz next to each other, I think. I mean, we'll see. If I hate it, I'll just move them back. But 
Yeah, that's where we're at. We say thank you to Brett for being the best husband ever because I can't do this alone. Uh, we put new brackets up. This one was actually still drooping, probably because there's a bunch of heavy boxes up top after we put this one. Because as you can see, on most of them, I only have one. I didn't do them on the other side because I just didn't need to. Um, but this one we needed to, but that's okay. This one's kind of crooked also, but it's working. Look, let me get up here. So yeah, we're just going to do American Girl all lined up up here. And furniture for American Girl dolls? I don't know. I don't think it'll ever be able to be a display, unfortunately. Um, at least not in this space, but I'm just really glad they're going to be back on display. And then we got to either unbox these dolls, put them in the actual queue for unboxing videos, or if they're just boxed ones that are staying boxed, figure out where they're going to be displayed. I do have that big wall right there next to the fan art wall that we can actually put dolls in box where the, where the bloom standee is right now. She might stay there. I'm not sure. Kind of think she'd go good right here, but as you can see... So a lot of things just moved. All right, you guys, so I've been working a bit off camera. Also, the weird lighting is because I turn on the flash because when we get up there, I want you guys to be able to see the dolls. But anyway, I took down the Monster High display that was over there. Moved it here, of course. I also messed with brats. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the mini brats out. For some reason, I've just never displayed them. I always just put them away, but I think it'll be cute to display them. I don't have Pretty and Punk at all, though. I don't have a single Pretty and Punk doll, so I don't know where I'm going to put those ones. But uh, you can see I put a few of my mini brats series two up. And then this will be like, because I really want that jewelry box on display, but see, there's no room. But if I make like a little runway, then I have room. But we'll see, that could change. Because that begs the question of who's going to go here. But it just depends how much of Monster High actually fits on the shelf. Like, I don't know yet. Um, but if we move up here, we can... Also, this isn't a stain, by the way. That's like a shadow from the wood. Uh, okay, so we're up here. <laughs> this is the like special edition area. My chair is super squeaky, sorry. So at first I was having a crisis because I was like, there's only Frankie's back here. But then I realized I have a Draculaura. Frankie, I just pre-ordered, so they're coming. And then Claudine, I still haven't bought yet, but she's easy to get the holiday. So I'll have all three on display here. It'll be super cute. And I haven't unboxed Skeleta yet. And Skeleta can go here because I kind of want like one of each ghoul here. And Spectra if they ever release Spectra. And then this Frankie's my odd one out right now because I put Voltages here with the parents. But I could put voltages with the power ghouls dolls especially because i don't have the original voltages i don't know yet um okay so wait let me explain my theory here before we get started well we're already started but okay so what's weird here by the way is that when they were over there i really liked how they looked the book is still there i forgot to grab that um lydia's book but i really liked how they all looked over there on display but when they're over here i'm like having trouble figuring out where i'm gonna put them and i'm sitting here like why how did this happen? But I think, I think I need to look at pictures, whatever, I'll do it. But so my theory here is these are Monster High, obviously. So Monster High will go in the front row. And then I have some spillover over here with special dolls that kind of don't fit the vibe over here or like earlier ones. So this will be one of each character. So we have Haunt Couture and then this Gulia because they haven't released a Haunt Couture Gulia yet, which is criminal. And then if they were to release a Haunt Couture Gulia, Gulia would move to the back row behind herself. So um, this Dracula is here and then Stitch together or whatever they're called, Frankie will go here. And then the Holiday Claudine will go there. But if there's a better Claudine that they release, which I, if they don't, I will be pretty mad. Uh, Claudine will go over there. Like, you get it? Uh, and then these are the Universal Monsters is what I'm going for. So that's why I've got Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster and the bride of Frankenstein's monster. And then we've got Dracula. And then I thought Elvira fit better over here because, you know, she reviews like classic horror movies. So I thought that fit. Um, and then uh, I think I might put Midnight Runway there instead. And Voltages, again, can go with the power goals. Did I say that? I think I did. Uh, this one's an odd one, but there's going to be four of them. So she'll fit wherever. And I might turn this into like a runway, like I said, whatever. And then over here... I don't know, we've got Stephen King and other, but I haven't unboxed Chucky and Tiffany and Annabelle yet. I think those are the only ones I haven't unboxed. Watch me be wrong. Uh, but they'll fit, but then this side will be really out of balance. Also, I wanted Pennywise and Lydia in the front row, but then it's kind of weird to have Beetlejuice in the back. And then the twins, I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll figure something else out. But that's what we have going on. And then this will be like signatures and if... I have extra space because there's three tiers here. So I think we're going to have extra space. 2.0 picture day. I said that earlier. And so on. Oh yeah, these. Probably won't unbox these, but where are they going to go? I don't know. 
it's it's exciting to have new shelves but it's also like I had all of this arranged where it was fitting and working and now I have to completely rethink it but it's good because I didn't like that the special monster head dolls were over there it didn't make any sense to have g3 just interrupt them completely like that so this is better I like this better all right you guys this took way longer than anticipated but other than the ones that are hanging out right here I have moved all the monster high dolls so now do, 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 they are on the bed <laughs> there's still paint on this chair it's my paint chair <laughs> um anyway so now the monster high dolls are all laid out on my bed they're like kind of sorted by what shelf I want them on so like the signatures and 2.0 I have way more in this theme than anticipated but we'll see how they fit we're just gonna play around with it this is gonna be an ordeal to try to get these to fit um and you've got like the swim dolls the kind of movie dolls that i don't have a whole lot of i really need to vacuum in here please excuse that i'm gonna do it after i set up all the dolls and make sure there's no doll accessories on the carpet you know what i'm talking about vacuuming isn't just like a oh let's vacuum you really have to like pay attention when you have doll collection anyway uh, then you've got, like, Target exclusives, stuff like that. So this isn't my whole collection again. Like, a lot of them are still kind of, like, hanging out over here. But I figured I can just add, like, fill in the holes. You can see my Target exclusives there. Um, I can, like, fill in the holes afterward. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to set up the tripod and we're going to get to it. The Monster High display is a lot more difficult to set up than anticipated. And I don't really explain this later in the video, but let me explain here. Monster High has a lot of themed lines that are very highly themed that you can't necessarily like put together in a cohesive display. So I can't use all three rungs of this. This doesn't apply to signatures though. So I don't know what I'm talking about it here, but whatever. All right, I've done two shelves. They're not fully done, but you know, I've gotten pretty good headway on them. And I definitely overestimated how many dolls I could fit on each shelf because yes, I have this three tiered storage, but the ones in the back row, especially in a display like this, won't be very visible, so I don't want to, like, cram everyone in. Like, I feel bad that Jane Boolittle's kind of hiding, so I'm probably going to move her and Gilda over here, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely strange. Also, I ended up doing that, which kind of sucks, so um, I'm probably going to push that over and have that kind of jet that way. Uh, we'll see. It's still a work in progress, but yeah, so that's my, like, one of each character display, except now I kind of separate, because I used to do a one of each character display, and then I would do a movie display, but I found that I preferred having the characters that debuted in the movies with their movie, because they really fit and are cute, and also I don't have a lot of non-character movie dolls, or non-new character movie dolls, because when I was collecting Monster High, I specifically wanted one of each character, so I didn't buy, like, these ones. This one was a gift from my friend in junior high actually um and then this one was i think our first year of high school she got it for me though um and then this one was a gift from my friend more recently so like and i wasn't really buying these these are all dolls that i had when i was a teenager this one i found at a flea market this one i found at a convention these two i had when i was a teenager so you know like i wasn't buying them like that so it's definitely weird but freaky fusion as you can see i really filled in because i wanted to lie so i ended up with these two these two my mom got me from, like, a Facebook marketplace find. This one I found at a flea market. This one was also from that Facebook... I think these two were... This one was a gift. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't have a whole lot of non, like, movie characters generally. Especially, like, with Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love? I have Draculaura. And I have Cupid. And that's it. So... Oh, she's actually over here. I didn't realize Draculaura was over here. Um, so, you know. Eventually I'd like to have more, but that's just not how my collection is right now so that's fine uh so I think I'm definitely going to be expanding this way a little bit we'll see but then that begs the question of who's gonna go on this side right because I do need some room for Bratz expansion but I don't think they're ever gonna take up all this space because that would be basically almost double the amount of Bratz that I currently have on display and I do have quite a few that aren't on display like if you've seen my other collection videos from before I was in this house I had way more Bratz on display than this well, probably this amount of brats, but you can see I have a lot of new ones here. And that's because, like, if they're not in, like, perfect condition, they're not on display right now. So a lot of them, I don't know how to fix them or I'm scared to fix them or I just haven't gotten around to it. So, like, my Wintertime Wonderland dolls need, um, like, better care than they got when I first got them. So that's why they're not on display. Um, so there's definitely a lot more dolls. So maybe we will expand this way. But then that doesn't solve any of my problems over here. Which is specifically my scene in Barbie, because, oh, and Likachan too, because I really want to put those Likachan playsets up. I just think these Ever After High dolls have got to go, but I don't know where they're going to go, and I thought this would be the perfect spot, but we'll see. 
no what am I saying we'll see for there's still so many dolls on the bed <laughs> there's still so many dolls on the bed and clearly this is not the amount of space but that's fine I'm just working with it I want oh yeah and Dracula Raphael you can see her stand there um where did I put her after she fell oh she's right here she fell poor mama uh so if you could see that in the time lapse let me know <laughs> uh oh and then freak du chic in boo york boo york i don't know where i'm gonna put them so i actually haven't tested this yet does this fit no i mean it could go up top i guess but i'm kind of expanding the special edition dolls outward a bit i don't know put this back um and then i don't think this fits either which sucks because i really want freak du chic on display yeah it doesn't I mean, I don't have to display the playset, but I find the playset to be quite cute. Did that get, like, I think that got moisture damage at some point. Probably when it was in a garage. Um, but yeah. That's where we are. We continue. Hey guys, I just got through another 30 minutes of arranging dolls, and I was all proud of the angle I had picked out and everything, but I didn't record any of it. So, sorry. <laughs> um, but it's fine. It was just a time lapse, like, whatever. We have plenty of those in the world. But... Okay, I didn't. I don't think I did anything to that shelf. I don't know when I last checked in. Well, I'm doing the swim shelf now. That's kind of what I've unofficially dubbed it. So I'm kind of continuing on the movie theme a bit because we've got Gloom Beach, which is kind of spiritually movie, and we've got Skull Shores. So it's kind of, and then of course Great Scary Reef. But I tried to do like a nautical theme, so you can see Shriek Wreck, which I think was actually supposed to be a movie. And God, I wish it was because I love those dolls. One of my favorite lines, like in general with Monster High, I really like them. Uh, and then because Gloom Beach is here, I put the Fear Squad dolls down here because, you know, it's Gloom Beach, like, cute. Um, which I was sitting here like, I know I'm not missing, like, an exorbitant amount of Gloom Beach, because I, especially because I have Gulia. Like, what's going on? I think I'm only missing Claudine unless I'm just blanking. So I think this line is just really small, like, there's only five dolls. Was the five pack it? Because Skull Shores is quite large. I also have Laguna. No, I don't know where she is right now. It's weird. Like, one doll from each line is kind of missing. Like, Draculaura Shriekrecht isn't here right now. Like, what the heck? Where did she go? <laughs> um, but it's fine. And then my Fear Squad. So I've got the original, like, Toys R Us pack. And then I've got the second one, which was the Werecats. And then this random, I think that's Coffin Bean Claudine or something that I dressed in it one of the Fear Squad uniforms. And then I put the swim class dolls up front. I want them to have their own display, but for now I think this is cute. I also wanted um, this line on display in this area because I think it fits, but I have, and I have two out of the three, but one of them's in box and I don't want to unbox her. So if I ever buy her out of box, then sure. But for now, I think Meality is just not going to be on display like that because she just doesn't make any sense. Um, but I do have Freaky Field Trip, but when I put Freaky Field Trip, which I generally pair with, Ghouls Getaway. Um, when I put them, what did I call this earlier? It's Ghouls Getaway. <laughs> um, I like to pair them with swim class and stuff usually for some reason. Like, I don't know. Because I feel like these ones are also a getaway line. So I think I can kind of work it together. I don't know. Um, but they looked weird on this shelf because I had two that were not at all nautical themed, except I guess the dead fish. You can kind of explain your way into that one. I don't know. Um, so it's not working, but it's fine. Look how cute she is. I really like her. Very underrated line, I think. I'm just hope that I work up this line. It's so pretty. Um, my new inbox ones are just down here. Generally, bottom shelf Monster High, I like to do... Because there's some big stuff, like this beautiful... This is, like, such... This was a gift from Ray. But I just love this. I love getting down here and playing with the hair, which is why I haven't, like, actually styled it. Because it's just so soft and fun to play with. Um, and I like to have that on display down here. I'll probably move her over here, though, because... <laughs> I feel bad calling her that. Um, I'll probably move her over here because Perry and Pearl there. By the way, if you guys have Perry and Pearl, do, do they have ungodly glue seepage? Like, none of my other dolls, well, some of them do, <laughs> but none of my other dolls from this era have glue seepage that bad, but you can see from here how bad it is. Like, on both of them, it's worse on her, though, but, like, ugh, what the heck? Like, truly, my collection, I've been very fortunate. Like, there's not that much glue seepage going on, and the ones that have it don't have it too bad, except for a few, like, real stinkers. But, like, that one is horrific. I don't know. Weird. Um, so yeah, I think this is where we're wrapping up Monster High today, because I really want to see how I feel about this. And I don't like how this display looks right now, but to be fair, it's because there's growth room, right? Because if I ever finish Haunt the Casbah, that's two more there. There's more in this line, I know. 
actually I keep blanking on who they are. There's Claudine, right? Um, there's much more in Scaris. I just don't have like any of them. Like there's all the ones that came in the larger packs. Also, I have Rochelle. Actually, I actually have two of Rochelle. She just never is on display for some reason. I need to get her on display. <laughs> um, and then of course, like th we have a lot still to get on display. Like the bed is still very full of dolls. Um, and I'll continue movie dolls this way here. So that'll be Ghoul's Rule. Um, I'm, I don't know what to do about Boo York. Because it's going to be either Freak to Chic or Boo York up here. And I'm going most likely with Freak to Chic because there is a Comic-Con Freak to Chic doll. And Freak to Chic is my true favorite line. Boo York's just my favorite movie. So I don't know. Oh, Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love can fill in some space down here. And I think Caddy Noir too. I like to put her with them down here. But I also like to do like a kind of dance themed concerty shelf. Uh, and that's generally where I'll put Caddy and Costa and all of them. So that's kind of what I'm saving Caddy for, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll put them. There's no real order to this, huh? I didn't really put them in sequential order. And if I did, it was a coincidence. I think Scaris was before. The yeah, Scaris, then 13 Wishes, then Fright's Camera Action, then them, right? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a thousand years, but I do feel like I definitely got these two first. I got them for Christmas the first year I collected Monster High. And then I got these two for my birthday the next year. And then these were a little later, I think. Which would be like 2013, 2012, 2014? I don't know. Um, they were first, obviously. Mm. It's weird, though, too, because I have the Scaris car and I have the Roadster. But I don't think I'm going to display them because they just take up so much space. And they're, they're very cute. But they're more of something that I pull out for pictures or to play with as opposed to like wanting them on display right now when I have a limited display space. If I had more space, that would change things, but mm, not right now. I do really like the Scarce car for display, actually. I think it actually fits quite nicely on a lot of displays. Like I used to have it on display and it was very cute. It was very cute. I liked setting them on it. Um, so yeah, now to wrap up this video, we're about to end it. We're going to put the American Girl dolls up here. Uh, so we're going to take down everything that's up there and then move the American Girl dolls up here. It won't be like their permanent display, but I just want to get them up there so that I can feel accomplished today. So it was the American Girl area. So I had to take down everything that was there and then I had to put up the American Girl dolls, which I had just brought in from the other room and Brad is handing them to me. And this was fun because I had to describe the dolls to him <laughs> so that he could hand me the correct one. And I also kind of a little bit forgot the order of the girl of years, but I seem to have gotten it right, I think. Uh, so that was fun too. Uh, but they took up way more space than I thought they were going to. All right, you guys, we've done it. Here is our Girl of the Year lineup. Uh, but we have reached an impasse, if that's the word we want to use. So it's interesting because I've just i had this uh, Disney Limited Edition dust cover blocking event for a while because I was testing will a bunch of dust and schmutz get on my dolls. And on this side, that didn't happen. And I noticed that, so on this side, I kind of was like, whatever, I don't really need to block it. Because I'm not blocking it, I'm just diverting it so it doesn't touch the dolls. This one, though? It actually dropped schmutz. Ah! So, I need to go get a wet washcloth. But isn't that weird? Why would... And let me know, maybe... Because I just got a new, like, AC, like, when I moved in, so... Why is this one so clean? And it's only dropping, like, minimal dust. Like, nothing comes out of that one. There's, like, a little bit of dust clung to this. But that one is schmutz city what's going on and no that's not an intake that is they both come out i felt them the intake's down there what's going on let me know air vent uh what is it called hvac <laughs> air vent specialist anyway uh here's the girl of the year dolls and contemporary other girlies and um in theory i'll also put my truly me's up here like the more modern ones because wouldn't that be cute to have like my early era truly me's or um girl that today is like over here and then are they even called Truly Me's right now? I think they are. It was Just Like You and then Truly Me. Whatever. The the Just Like You dolls. I have some more modern ones that would look really good here. And I can kind of... I do want the uninterrupted Girl of the Year thing. Because I just love the Girl of the Year line. I find it so cool. I like named characters. I don't know. Um, I wanted my historicals up too. And I don't actually have that many historicals. So I think I can pull it off. But I don't want them to be super cramped. But it's just that... It's just this vent. Like, I need this vent in here. It is, like, always the wrong temperature in this room because I have big windows that are covered, but it still lets in temperature, obviously. But, like, <laughs> that's getting schmutz in my room, and I don't want it on my American Girl dolls. I mean, they'd be fine, but I just don't want it on them. So, for now, that's just going to block it. But, uh, obviously, that looks ugly, right? Like, you have a big, stupid thing there. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, here they are. 
Uh, as you know, I do have Lainey, but um, I wanted to do a restoration video for her and it never happened. So she's still waiting to come on display. I also need to restore Isabel. Her hair is a lot drier than I know I can achieve. So she'll probably get a I mean, maybe someday. I don't know. Do y'all want American Girl videos? Please let me know. Because I want to film them. <laughs> um, but now that these are on display, at least some of my American Girl dolls are on display. Because I have way more than this. I think I have like 50 American Girl dolls, which is crazy. I never thought I'd get there. Um, but they look cute. I like them on display. I really like them. They're a collection I really like, but they're definitely one of my more neglected collections just because they're so big and difficult to display. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm getting close to having the full lineup, except now I'm missing, what, 21, 22, 23, 24 over here? Because Joss is 2020, 20, right? So yeah, so we're missing three there. So I'm I'm getting more behind than I was because right now from like Joss back, I'm missing, I guess if we count contemporaries, I'm missing Z and everyone from World By Us, but ignore them. Uh, I'm missing, I feel like I'm stupid here. Which one of them is 2012? Whatever. Uh, Lainey, I have. So I'm missing Nikki, Marisol, and Sonali, and I think that's it. So there's three there, but now I'm missing three more. <laughs> Um, but it's fine. I'll get there. I'm not too worried about it. It's just I don't find them thrifting anymore, too, which is not helping. Also, Brett said that this lineup looks like a sorority, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> it does. Um, I wish American Girl, or American Girl would work on that. They kind of made an attempt here. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. We had fun. We have finally moved the American Girl dolls, and we made some monster high progress. I've moved some ghouls over here to start working on them. These will probably be off camera, at least some of them, because I just, with this, I, it's hard to explain, but with doll room updates, I don't like to necessarily be filming when I'm constantly being like, I want this here. No, I want it here. No, I want it here. And I'm like back and forth, because sometimes it could take me like four hours to do one shelf just because I'm being very picky about how it looks. It definitely took forever with Ever After High, but I do think I filmed Ever After High. I don't know if I did the time lapses though, but I definitely filmed it. So I don't know, it's just kind of tricky. This will probably change by the next time you see it too, just because I'm kind of on the fence about it. I still haven't put Dracula back up. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.